Oh hello, uh, I have put on a black leather jacket or maybe uh, I could have dug up that old picture of Polaroid of me sitting in one of those uh, promotional cars they used for Night Rider a black Pontiac Firebird basically that was decked out to look a bit like a kid in uh, if you squint your eyes and didn't look too closely. Um, but then that would have destroyed every single bit of faith you'd have in me. But I'm still going to talk about Night Rider for the Commodore 64. Ah, Night Rider. The TV series with David Hasselhoff was quite popular over here, and it might have spawned actually the idea that we Germans love Hasselhoff. Uh, truth is, we love him ironically as much as you do most of the time. And I personally, I can't stand this guy, especially after uh, he stopped being the action hero and turned into Lifesaver and then uh, Private Eye. Mitch Buchanan. Uh, but, but we're not going to talk about the TV series or the movies. Because um, while the game itself, while the series was popular, um, I don't know who screwed up the concept. Because this doesn't feel like an episode of Night Rider. This game doesn't feel like an episode of Night Rider, but more like um, Metal Gear. I ah, forget about it, or something like that. On the very blonde tell screen, you are presented with a few. Let's say odd options. I mean, kill the vice president, destroy Silicon Valley. Uh, that makes you seem to be the bad guy. But 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 stay calm. Um, these are of course the plans you have to stop the terrorists from doing. Well, and if you start one of these scenarios. You're informed that Devon knows of terrorist activity somewhere in the United States, and you have to go there most of the time via a 3D driving stage. Let me tell you this it's no test drive. Um, you can choose between either being the one who drives and Kit uses the laser against oncoming uh, missiles and strangely enough um, he also shoots helicopters out of the sky let me repeat this Kit fires his laser at helicopters in the sky who then explode hello Anyone see the original series? Kit follows the three laws of robotics that Sir Isaac Asimov, or later called, was he even a Sir? That Isaac Asimov um, stated. And this includes not harming human life. I can't believe that I have to give a lecture about how wrong this game is in its portrayal of Kit. Of 
course, if you want to go more humane, you can drive. You can have Kit drive the car, and you fire the laser, and try only to hit the oncoming missiles. But you get points for killing people in the helicopters. Oh, and this terrorist organization, that one must have quite a lot of money because because they're always spawning new helicopters. Anyway, uh, so when you've reached one of the places where the terrorists are, or where a hint led you, uh, you go to their hideout place. Uh, which is the top choice, by the way, always. It's always the top choice. There the terrorists are. And then you have to go and sneak around. Yeah, Michael doesn't fight. No fist fighting, nothing. He has no way of overwhelming the guards. All he can do is evade them. Which is impossible. Sooner or later one of the guards will see you follow you and hopefully you're fast enough to make it out of the way. So you found your clue and you press fire. Then you go to the next locale and hopefully you remember your hint. Because if you forget where you are headed, the game doesn't tell you. You have to keep track of it all yourself. So uh, how do you get to the next locale, the next place? Well, of course, by driving. Oh, uh, and you have to make it in time to the location where uh, you're finally supposed to be. But what for? For a scrolling text congratulating you on your success. And if you press fire in that screen, well, you jump back to the title screen. It's really an atrocity. Uh, outside of the title screen there is no music. The uh, driving scenes are no fun simply because you tend to over or understeer and get off the road which strangely enough damages Kit. I can understand if the missiles damage him but hitting the ground Driving on grass or desert, and just that damages kit. What the? No, seriously, why? 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 The stealth levels are uh, a bad joke, primarily because you are almost guaranteed to have enemies on your back, and uh, well. The ending is lackluster. It's too bad that this game doesn't include some kind of cutscenes which um, kind of mimic the stories shown in the series. Even if it had been just been you getting in the flag truck, you getting out of the flag truck, and maybe some still images of you. Uh, Sneak it before you turn into uh, the st before you turn to the top-down perspective stealth scenes. Well, uh, if I hadn't been young enough to be easily impressed, let's put it this way, um, I wouldn't have touched the game with a ten-foot pole. But nostalgia sometimes works its ways. And uh, this time it's really weird and it's sad because I had so much fun with this game. Primarily because I had no other chance. I didn't have at that time that many driving games available. We didn't have the internet. And we didn't have a modem at our home. <sighs> well. Before I start ranting or uh, just get being gotten by the snark or something like that, uh, I think we better stop here and uh, yeah, end our video on 
Knight Rider for the Commodore 64. Bye! Next time on Retro Cork, uh, yeah, maybe that game, game will do a lot better, even though it's kind of difficult. Uh, next time I'm going to talk about Master of the Lamps.